New tonight on Fox 28 News, Ohio has the third worst infant mortality rate in the nation, and a local lawmaker wants to change that. Mike Kallmeyer to show us the problem and what's being done to save young lives. The death of a baby is devastating. One state senator from Franklin County has heard too many stories from parents who have lost their children. <laughs> his name is Will. When he was 82 days old, it was his afternoon nap. He's at our babysitters. His parents, Nathan and Michelle of Grove City. I relive that day often. She basically arrived at the time that Will was discovered. When Michelle went to pick up her son at the sitters, an ambulance was there. I see the medics come in. I, there's a police officer. They take him out. But then I notice the ambulance isn't going anywhere. So at that point, I know something's really wrong. Nathan got the first call. Something was very wrong. Got the second phone call that said he didn't make it. For his nap that afternoon, baby Will was laid on an adult mattress with a blanket. And when they found Will, um, he had that little blanket. It was, had worked its way up over his head. The majority of these, these SIDS deaths are associated with unsafe sleep environments. Dr. Sam Hankey is a pediatrician at Cincinnati Children's. He says most infant deaths are SIDS cases. In baby Will's case, it was categorized as SUID. Sudden, unexplained infant deaths. Mysteries, but with a common thread, where they sleep. About 80 to 90 percent are, are because these babies are found in an environment that is known to be a risk factor. It is horrific information that we can't protect the life of a child till their first birthday. State Senator Charlita Tavares from Columbus has joined in the fight to save lives. The numbers are out, and they're not good. Ohio has the 48th worst infant mortality rate. More than 1,000 babies died in 2010, 140 in Franklin County. Senator Tavares just completed a statewide fact-finding mission to see what's being done and what works. The ABCs are very clear that we want babies to go to sleep alone. We want them to be sleeping on their backs, and we want them in a crib, a crib without any pillows or stuffed animals. The first hurdles are education and awareness. Specifically related to SIDS and safe sleep related deaths. Uh, and I don't think enough people know about it. It knocks you down. It's, it's your worst fear. And, and at the end of the day, you're sitting there and you got to pick yourself up or stay down. And, and we thought we could try to help people. It takes people like Nathan and Michelle to tell their story. It takes people like Sam Hankey to let you know it can happen to anybody. Um, there were a lot of sleepless nights. Even a doctor. And he was uh, a perfect baby boy. Uh, and we were very much a normal family for three weeks. Dr. Sam Hankey's son Charlie was fussy one night. So, you know, I, I held him and got him to sleep and uh, was sitting on the couch and I fell asleep with him. And I woke up and he didn't. And uh, life hasn't been the same ever since. Charlie was with us for three weeks, and he came to our lives for a reason. For reasons like this, a nighttime book about safe sleep, created by this doctor and dad, part of an organization. In memory of Charlie's, called Charlie's Kids, and this book is part of that safe sleep survival kit. Uh, and we've donated over 30,000 books. Dr. Sam has had two children since. He calls them rainbow babies. As for Nathan and Michelle, they have a different perspective on life now. They certainly don't mind interruptions. <laughs> they are blessed with three other boys. And with Will, that makes four. We have four kids. Uh, only three of them are with us. The herds from Grove City have set up a foundation in Will's name. They hold a 5K and fundraisers throughout the year. Senator Tavares has teamed up with Republican Shannon Jones to introduce legislation next month. They plan to allocate more funding for education and awareness. Mike Kohlmeyer, Fox 28 News. Well, here's a look now at the book uh, Dr. Sam Hankey's foundation has just released. It's called Sleep Baby, Safe and Snug. And you can get a copy of the book there and find out all about SIDS and safe sleeping at his website, charlieskids.org. And the website for Nathan and Michelle Hurd's foundation is babywill.org. Hope you'll visit them both.